and so this works perfect for today. Hold on. Hello? Telemarketer. Hey guys, it's me. So, as you can see, I've done this 1920s Peaky Blinders inspired look. And if you'd love to know how to do this, stay tuned and get ready to see how I did it. Hey guys, so we're gonna film. Um, don't know what just happened with the lighting, but. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with anything. I feel like y'all can see me. My makeup's not a good match because most of my makeup is packed. Also, I know you all know I like cruelty free, but because most of my makeup is packed to go to school, a lot of the items I'm going to be using are not product or cruelty free products. Sorry, but I really wanted to get this look out, and I am transitioning, so from time to time, I am going to use some products that aren't cruelty free just because they're all I have. In saying that today, as I stated, we're doing a Peaky Blinders look, and I'm going to do this setup again because I don't like the voiceover. If you all like the voiceover better, let me know, but as for now, this is what we're doing. Like I said, don't be afraid of my buns. I'm wanting Grace's kind of wavy hair from the show, and like, this is a good way that I can get some natural waves, and it's not... I, I don't use any heat, so it's really good for my hair. So, it's gonna have a little bit of, you know, some authentic 1920s type makeup, but a lot of this is just strictly inspired by the show. Um, I found a way to mix, you know, Grace's look and May's look. Um, I'm gonna be using, you know, Grace, the color scheme I chose is a kind of bronzy, pinky rose brown, because, you know, the scene where, even though I hate Grace, putting that up there. I don't like Grace. But anyway, you know, I'm using her, you know, that pinky bronze she wore when she met Tommy at the races. I thought that was a really good look to do. But I'm also going to incorporate some of May's, you know, smokiness to it. And a lot of the edgy stuff is gypsy-ish type theme. I'm going to be using, you know, the kind of edgy smokiness for kind of using the gypsiest things will be for Esme and you know the it we all know who the edgy's for. That's a shout out to Polly. Polly is probably my favorite of the women characters just because she is she doesn't give up and the natural kind of we're gonna keep some things kinda naturalish and that's gonna be a shout out to Ada, the Shelby sister, because she kept her makeup pretty, pretty neutral a lot of the time. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking Maybelline's Master Drama. Or any kind of just black eyeliner that you can smudge out. We're doing things backwards because we want everything kind of smoked out. We're going to line the eyes first, guys. So. Don't worry about this being neat. We're gonna smudge it all out. Anyway, I'm gonna do one eye just to kind of show. And you all can see that. Like I said, this isn't neat at all. Because it doesn't have to be. Because we're gonna take this little pointy kitchen. And we're just gonna start smudging that out. taking the color toasted because as I said I really liked 
Grace's that pinky bronze thing she had going on. So, but you all feel free to use whatever you want. So. Yeah, and I want to take a blending brush and I want this smoked out because this is where this really comes in. And then I'm going to take the color toasted on a blending brush and put this in my crease and it's going pretty high in the crease guys because we're going for a gradient fade. Now that your eyes are nice and scary, we're going to go ahead and blend some. And I'm just taking what I have left of the color version. You can use any brow bone color you want. I'm just popping that on in my brow bone. So line my things up. And then I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. And I'm gonna be taking the shade Hustle, which is another burgundy-ish brown color. And the reason I'm using this is because I want this smoky and put this right on our lid. Yeah, to the lid, not the crease, the lid. We're doing it backwards today, guys. The crease shade is the lighter shade. You can see that. I'm failing so hard today, guys. get this lovely little thing going on. And I'd like to define this a little bit. So I'm going to be taking Dark Horse, which is just appropriate that we use something with the word horse in it. My brush, enough for both eyes. And I'm going to just put this on the outer half. Just the outer half of the eye. I'm not putting it up in the crease. I'm just kind of putting it on the outer half. And blending it in to hustle. I'm gonna wipe the brush off and just take where it's got every color on it now and put that up in the crease and blend. And there you have that. Down on our lash line, so I'm taking my It Cosmetics smudger brush. I'm gonna start with hustle. Smudge that all through there. Hustle is going all across the lash line and up into the lash. And then I'm going to take Dark Horse, just on the very outer edges of both eyes. I'm just going to bring that down in. So now, but now we've lost some of some of that black, so I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner. Once again, I'm gonna be using Esme's Natural, and I'm using a pinky blush. In the 20s, they normally wore a red or a very dark, but we're, we're well, they were pink too, but we're going to use this pink one. I'm going to concentrate this mostly just on the apples of our cheeks, because that's where those ladies back then wore their blush. It was strictly in little, they do almost perfect little round circles on their cheeks, but because I want this to be wearable, I am blending it up afterwards. Now, they usually did red lips, red to orange lips. I am being that brave today because I'm going out later and all my red lipstick stains red, but rose did become popular, so. We're gonna use this Mally H3 Triple Hydration and then we're gonna matte it out. Okay, something I did, guys, I extended, extended the shape of my lip, but when I blotted it out, it kind of took it away, so. You can see I've 
got some curly waves now. If you need a 1920s headpiece, something I suggest doing is looking around at all of your necklaces and seeing if something in your collection will work. I have an actually really old necklace that was my great grandmother's and I was given this during my hippie phase and I made it a headband so this works perfect for today. Hold on. Hello? Telemarketers. There we go. There we go. So there's that piece. hope you all enjoyed this look. It was a really, really fun look to make. I absolutely love the show. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I have went way over time. My camera's about to lose all of memory, so if you like this video, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media in the links below. I love you guys so, so much, and I cannot wait to see you all next week. Bye!